What's going on guys, this is Burrs here to talk to you today about the Gunfighter Zinc Ronin Holster. This is a concealment holster that is an outside the waistband that will give inside the waistband holsters a run for their money for what I've seen. And basically there's a lot of inside the waistband holsters that don't work. So people are looking to outside the waistband holsters for their concealment needs and they're looking for people to kind of improvise and innovate and that's kind of what we have here with the Ronin holster. Number one, it's made very well. The, the craftsmanship that goes into this holster is amazing. So let's talk about that a little bit. First off, as you can see here, the craftsmanship that goes into this is very good. You can see that there's uh, a lot of effort put into making sure that this holster you know, stands above the rest that are out there, and it really does. And up until this point, I have never seen a holster that has been you know, crafted, so to speak, until I've seen this one. And there's a lot of different points to it that you can see that the time has gone into it to make it, you know, you know a good holster. So let's start here with uh, belt loops. I think belt loops are important and theirs are very different compared to others. As you can see here, they're relatively thin. They just barely fit a thick um, rigger belt. Basically my 1.75 rigger belt just fits through there. And uh, and when I say fit through there, I mean the width of the belt loop. Let me just compare here for you because this is a huge factor. Some other holsters on the market that I have. You can see the belt loops of these holsters are relatively what I would call large. Okay, As you can see there. Compared to this Gunfighter Inc. Ronin holster. Now why is that? Well, Adam over there at Gunfighter Inc. told me that you know they want this to sit as close to your body as possible, and you have people that are using you know really thick um, you know belt loops when in reality you know you only need the belt loop to be as thick as the belt, and most belts are you know pretty much you know two layers um, thick. You don't really see anything thicker than that. So why make a belt loop thicker than it has to be, right? And I'll tell you what I really have seen the difference with that as to how close this does sit to your body. And um, that's one innovation that he has gone uh, ahead and made, but there's also something else. And that is the fact that he goes ahead and takes grip uh, tape and puts it on the side, on, on the inside there, as you can see. So that basically is gonna keep that belt, um, you know, and this holster on the belt exactly where you put it, which is really innovative. I have yet to see that with any other holster manufacturer out there, let alone the fact that these are contoured, as you can see. You can see with some other ones here, you know, just flat. This is just a basic Kydex. These, uh, you know, same thing, just flat. There's a lot of, you know, motion and movement, what I would I call movement, it's not movement, but it's, you know, there's a lot of, uh, waves and lines going on on these uh, belt loops. So number one, the belt loops are very important because that's what's going to give you your base and that's what's going to give you the um, concealment. And if you have something that's you know off your body a, a lot, it's not going to be very concealable. And that's how one way this outside the waistband really does conceal the gun very well. Let's get into the actual retention because that's a real sticking point for me with a lot of uh, holster manufacturers. And the retention on this is beautiful. Um, as you can see, the gun will go in and it'll click into place, but the draw to get it out is you know, not difficult at all. And you can see right here, you can see it go in and then it'll lift up and then it comes back down in. And the way he has this retention set up is in my opinion perfect because it keeps the gun in there, okay? But, you know, you also can draw it out very easily. So, you know, the retention there, let's see if I can show you here, you can see that move into place is excellent. This is actually the best retention I've seen on a holster yet. The fact that it snaps into place and the fact that it draws very well, you know, not too hard, not too, you know, light, is it's just perfect. And I've seen some holsters where you can't even get the damn things out. I was actually just someone um, on Facebook, on my Captain Bird's Facebook, sent me a thing and said, hey, have you had this holster? Um, I really I can't even get the gun out of it. Have you had an experience with, you know, isn't this company, it was another company. And, um, you know, even personally, I've had some uh, issues with um, companies where the retention is just horrible. 
Now getting back to the details of this, all the details of this are also going to be on CaptainBirds.com on a review and you're going to get high definition uh, photos there as well. So the link to that will be down below. Uh, but getting back to this, you can see that he's trying to get as much of this you know, down as possible to keep the profile down as well. But there's also a cant to this that will give it that much more of, um, you know, when you have a cant to a gun, you can conceal it easier than if you have it straight up and down. I like to run mine straight up and down, but I have found that it, the, the cant on this is, uh, is perfectly fine for, you know, running the gun, um, you know, an everyday carry, and I haven't had any problems with that. And it's just something you have to get used to, because I'm used to, as you can see, all the ones I get are straight drops. So, you know, just got to train with it and you get used to it. He can pretty much make any color you want. This is the Atax AU. And, you know, he has different rivet colors. He does a lot different with the front and back panels. And there's a ton of different stuff that he'll do, customization-wise. Um, if you're looking for that, so you can just work with him on that. I think this is OD on the back. Um, so you have OD and this is ATAX on the front here. Now the one thing that you will see with this is, you know, innovation. And the one thing that, you know, it wasn't a, an actual addition or it wasn't anything with the holster, but I found this through training, is you can actually use this area right here as uh, an assist for single-handed manipulations. Now the one thing with the holster is, you can actually use this with one-handed manipulations very well on this little cutout here. It provides a very flat surface. So, for instance, I have a Glock. I can take the rear sight here and run this down the holster, okay, like such, and out, okay? And it makes a very great area for one-hand manipulations is another thing that I found with this holster. So that's one thing I found that's, you know, it makes a nice almost 90 degree angles here and a nice flat surface so you can go ahead and get that gun in there and you know run the gun down through there. Can you use this, do that on other holsters? Sure, but as you can see here, this is .06. Eh, it's not gonna be so good. You can see here there's not a ton of different services. Could I get it on something? I really can't because you know, it's a little bit flimsy. This one here is a little bit better, but again, that almost 90 degree angle makes that perfect for one hand manipulations if you're into that. So it's just one thing that I noticed. But the craftsmanship on this is uh, just amazing. It's spectacular. I really can't say enough about the actual craftsmanship. You can see the edges there are just melted together beautifully. There's a nice you know, sheen to them. They're nice and you know, polished. And on this particular model, the Ronin, they have the uh, belt loops riveted into there in a high, um, high fashion at the top here. That's basically to, you know, for comfort and for getting the gun out quickly. But they don't want this to move. They want this to be a bulletproof uh, rig. And it is for the most part. I really don't have anything negative to say about this. As I said, this is the greatest holster up until this point that I've come across. And I've probably realistically had about 15 different manufacturers holsters from small time to big time. And this is without a doubt I would put this up against anyone else's. This holster is just really well done and if you want something that's a little bit more of the attention to detail, go this route. You're going to spend about 70 some dollars for it, but I'm telling you what, Adam is going to work with you with whatever you want. If you have any problems with it, he's extremely you know, quick and easy to work with and he gets back to you in a timely fashion. Compared to some other places where you know they have tons of wait times, they have, you know, they don't get back to you right away, um, it comes out to you, it's not right. The stuff Gunfire Zinc is sending out is going to work. You don't have any, you know, there's nothing that's gonna happen where you're gonna get something and be like, you know, I can't believe I got this and now, you know, the retention's horrible. Okay, that doesn't happen with Gunfire Zinc because you know, Adam told me, he tests every single one before it goes out the door, okay? He's not like a shop, a small time shop that's gonna make stuff and then send it out and it's not gonna work because hey, we all know there's places like that um, out there. But, you know, Adam at Gunfire Zinc has really had, you know, he's put together a really great company and they're doing good stuff over there and this holster and the other holsters and magazine holsters, etc., that they make, 
you know, are really going to be top notch and you're going to be extremely pleased with what you, uh, what you get. The other thing with this is actually how it's contoured to the body. As you can see, there's some contour on the side here, on each side, and it's actually kind of pulled in to kind of meld to your body, so to speak. So, like I said, if you're looking for concealment and you're not looking for inside the waistband, which a lot of people, you know, there are people that don't like inside the waistband holsters. You know, they're right against you, people don't like them there, and you're looking for an outside the waistband, you know, this is definitely going to be comfortable, and as you can see, it's contoured extremely well um, to the body. As far as going in and, and drawing the gun out, as you can see, there's great relief right here to actually get into the gun. And you see this actually kind of missed with some holsters on the market, but when you come in here and get this gun, there's plenty of clearance right there for this gun to be grabbed. Now part of that's due to the fact that it's on a cant, which makes it a lot easier to relieve this area. But you know, when you're coming in here underneath stress and stuff, you want to have a good relief in your holster, you know, to, you know, you don't want to um, have a real tight one, you know, and have this up here and you have just barely enough room to, uh, you know, get your hand on the gun. You want to have a nice deep relief area here for you know mistakes that might happen under stress to make sure that you can get in there and get that gun out and uh, draw it in a timely manner. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know. If you want to see high definition photos and a super in-depth in write-up about this holster, go ahead and check out the link below and go to CaptainBurrs.com. If you guys have your Gunfighters Inc. holsters, go ahead and put the comments down below or better yet, do a video response. And until next time, later. Uh, clearance here, there's a great, there's a word for that and I fucking forget it.